Okay, my friends, so today we are doing a short video, but again, as I learn stuff on this here Steam Deck, I'm showing you guys so that you guys don't have to do all the searching that I'm doing. You can just kind of get into it. My hope is by the end of all this, you will be as prominent with this as I am. Maybe we can learn some stuff together. And I may at the very end where I think I'm kind of like, feel I feel really confident with this, uh, maybe make a like complete tutorial on how to use this. But right now we're doing a kind of step-by-step -step as I learn. So today we're gonna show you how to simply just move your games from a micro SD card to your internal storage and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe you're like me and you bought the 64 gig version of the Steam Deck. Now, that's great if you're a person that only has like small puzzle games and things like that. But to be honest, even probably with those, you're gonna get four or five maybe games and you are you could possibly have the internal drives full. So that at that point, you're gonna be looking to put in a micro SD card. So that's, that's a micro SD card right there. Uh, and of course, uh, you can get different sizes. This one inside here right now is a, just a 256 gig. I actually have a terabyte one upstairs that I will be using for some other purposes, which we will do in a future video. Um, but I find I'm gonna be using this a little differently. Now this was originally a 64 gig version. And in a video that I just did last week, we took the 64 gig card out. This is the card there. And we installed the 512 gig. So now I've got lots of space. But one of the things that you may want, it's not honestly that noticeable, is you may want to either move your games from the internal SSD to a larger micro SD card. And to be honest with you, there's not a lot of speed difference at all. Um, I've been playing all my games off of a micro SD card, perfectly fine. But for the ultimate, right, for the ultimate performance that this thing can give you, you want to be running your games off the internal solid state if possible. So you may want to be moving them back and forth, right? So I am going to turn this on. Here we go. And basically when you have your card in, it, nice and easy. This is going to boot up and you're going to go into your settings and uh, we're going to see the move, the move command. So I'll just let this boot up one sec. Okay, so the boot has finished. We should be logged in right here. And uh, if you hit your Steam button down here, we're just going to click this and we're going to go all the way down to settings. Click your A button. If we go all the way down here again, you're going to see storage. Okay. Now, inside storage, you're going to see internal drive and your micro SD card. Of course, uh, you want to have a micro SD formatted properly for the Steam Deck. So if you haven't done that, I do have a uh, small tutorial on how to do that. Um, but if you have both of these showing, this is where you and I can just simply move games. So for instance, let's say I wanted one of my games off my micro SD card or the other way around. I, it, you can move it from one to the other or it doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm going to move a small one here. So we'll go down to the bottom and there's this aperture desk job. I haven't even played it. It was a, like a freebie. So I figured why not four gigs. So you'll see uninstall it, move it or back out of it. Right? So I'm going to say move it. So it just wants the Y button. It's going to say, where do you want to move it to? And my only option for me right now is of course the internal, I have 383 gigs free. So we're simply just going to hit move, right? And you'll see moving content. That's it. Uh, it'll move everything across. Now, one of the things I do find sometimes when you're going from drive to drive, which can happen, um, sometimes it boots a little slower again for the first time afterwards. Sometimes it may have a few little downloads that it runs in the background. So uh, if you're going to be out somewhere where the internet's not great and you are going to be playing that game after you've moved it, usually my recommendation is just start it after it's been moved, just so it, it has a chance to do whatever it needs to do and then back out of it and you're, you should be good to go. But you can see this, you know, four gig file. It's, it's pretty much done right now. And this will be now on the internal drive. There you go, done. Move successful, close. 
So now you'll see it's not on this drive, but if we went back to the top, you can see that on my internal drive, there it is right there. Perfect. And you could now click on that one and simply say move it. And you have the option to move it to the SD card. And back it goes. All right, guys. Nice, simple, fast uh, tutorial for you guys with your Steam Deck, especially for those that are new like me. And uh, hopefully that's helpful. You can see moving it back way faster because read and write speeds, yeah? All right, guys, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. We'll be having more little tutorials on this and like mods and customizations for those that want to go, go a little deeper into the Steam Deck. If you have any questions or anything on it, let me know down below. Maybe I'll make a video because it may be a question that many people have and I just haven't stumbled upon yet. All right, guys, I'm out. Later.